Hello. My name is Uldis Rubins. I am lead researcher in University of Latvia. I am working in biomedical image processing using MATLAB programming. And the topic of my presentation is photoplethysmography imaging algorithm for continuous monitoring of regional anesthesia. First of all, I would like to explain the principle of remote photoplethysmography technique. Remote photoplethysmography is a non-contact optical diagnostic technique to detect blood volume changes in the skin tissue. The RPBG technique requires visible or near-infrared light source and video camera. Light penetrates into the skin, where it reaches small blood vessels and partial absorbed in the blood. Due to cardiac activity, blood volume changes, and this leads to modulation of light intensity in skin tissue. Video camera is able to detect small intensity variations of backscattered illumination. Video then can be transferred to computer, where the software extracts the RPBG signal in every pixel of video frames. As a result, the two-dimensional distribution of microcirculation parameters can be visualized on the computer screen. There is a clinical need for simple and expensive technique for monitoring of skin microcirculation with high spatial resolution. Existing techniques Laser Doppler imaging or laser speckle imaging are complicated and expensive. The remote photoplethysmography imaging also is suitable for monitoring of skin microcirculation, but most of image processing algorithms have disadvantage, such as low spatial resolution or inability to process data in real time. In this work, we have developed an efficient algorithm for infrared remote photoplethysmography. The algorithm is based on Eulerian video magnification technique. It is able to process high resolution parametric microcirculation maps in real time. The algorithm was tested using custom made prototype device in our laboratory and clinical environment during the regional anesthesia procedure. The prototype device was designed for remote monitoring of skin microcirculation. It involves near-infrared LED illuminator and video camera, both placed in small 3D printed case. Illuminator comprises ring of 12 circular oriented near-infrared LEDs connected with LED driver. Video acquisition is performed by board level CMOS camera. The camera was equipped with low distortion lens. In order to reduce skin specular reflectance, cross-oriented polarizers were placed in the front of the light source and video camera. The infrared filter was placed in the front of the camera in order to minimize the influence of ambient illumination. The RPBG device is connected to computer USB port which also serves power supply for this device. Next, I would like to introduce the RPBG processing algorithm. It is based on Eulerian video magnification technique to obtain high quality and high dynamic RPBG maps. During acquisition, Video images are received from the video camera and stored in the computer memory. Then each video frame is decomposed to different spatial frequency bands using multiscale pyramid decomposition. The goal of spatial processing is a simple way to increase signal to noise ratio by pooling multiple pixels. The next step is temporal filtering of image dataset. The intensity of image pixels changed from frame to frame due to blood volume changes. To extract the pulsatile signal, a bound pulse filter with a heartbeat frequency range was applied for all pyramid levels and all image pixels. Further, the two-dimensional distribution of RPBG amplitude is calculated for each pyramid level. 
Next step is reconstruction of amplitude map. This was done by collapsing the pyramid to obtain the output image. And the final step is visualization of processed RPBG map. This includes normalization, thresholding and color indexing. Additional improvement of map resolution was achieved by overlying of high pass filtered video image to this map. And now I will explain every step of algorithm more detailed. Special decomposition. It was done by Gaussian pyramid calculations. A low-pass pyramid is made by smoothing the image with a Gaussian smoothing filter and then downsampled by factor 2 along each coordinate direction. For next level image the procedure is repeated multiple times until it reaches last level with a single pixel resolution. This formula shows relationship between the current level image and the next level image. The goal of pyramid calculations is to increase signal-to-noise ratio of RPBG signal. Temporal processing of video was performed by calculating of the pixel intensity changes in predefined frequency range. To extract pulsatile component, infinite response filter was chosen. The second order Butterworth bound pass filter in the frequency range 0.7 to 2 Hz was applied for calculating the heartbeat component. The output signal then can be found recursively from the last five video frames regarding this formula. The advantage of infinite response filter is simplicity and computational inexpensiveness and it is suitable for real-time RPBG signal processing. To obtain microcirculation map, the mean amplitude of RPBG signal was calculated in every pixel of video frames within the frame buffer. For increasing of computationally speed on the mean amplitude of signal was calculated, by adding current intensity value and subtracting the last value of frame buffer. The frame buffer was 5 seconds long, which corresponds to 150 frames. The reconstruction was done by collapsing the pyramid to obtain the final output. Each pyramid image is multiplied by the coefficient which leads to amplification of the consequent spatial component. The final image is found by recursive formula, where in the last iteration we obtain a constructed map. Here is a screenshot of RPBG imaging software. It has designed it in MATLAB environment. Um, the graphical user interface consists of several parts current video frame window, RPBG image map, signal window displaying mean averaged RPBG amplitudes from manually selected regions of interests. There is LED control, video camera control, measurement stage buttons with ability to set time markers in RPBG signal, and window with current time and microcirculation amplitudes as well as post-processing analysis tools. The measurements were performed in the Hospital of Traumatology and Orthopedics. Six patients aged from 18 to 40 years, undergoing hand surgery, received regional anesthesia. Regarding a full view of palm, the prototype device was placed at 15 cm from the palm surface. Reference measurements of palm thermal distribution were performed by portable thermal camera. The acquisition of video was done one minute before the regional anesthesia, during and 15 minutes after the anesthesia. Results We tested how the number of Gaussian pyramid levels affect the quality of RPPG maps. 
Higher pyramid levels leads to increase in amplification of low spatial components, so the microcirculation signal reaches above the camera quantization noise. While at lower pyramid levels we see higher map utilization, higher pyramid levels leads to overblurring. We consider that the number of pyramid level 5 is adequate for optimal sensitivity and utilization. We also studied how the local anesthetics affect the microcirculation of palm. The first row shows thermal images and image below are RPPG maps. We show the thermal images and RPPG maps at five different time moments before anesthesia, uh, two minutes, three, five and nine minutes after anesthesia. Because the local anesthetic affects the sympathetic vascular tone, increasing of blood volume and subsequent temperature increasing in palm tissue is observed. We use the thermography as a reference method and compared it with RPPG. RPG showed the same tendency as um, thermography. Here we see that higher attenuation parameter P value increases sensitivity but leads to our blurring of RPG maps. During acquisition, the computing speed tests were performed. We tested our algorithm on modern laptop computer with VGA resolution video at 30 frames per second using MATLAB software. We tested how the number of pyramid levels affect the speed of calculation. Each calculation cycle processes 30 frames to obtain single map, so the total time available on each cycle is 1 second. The slowest and most computing expensive processing is the temporal filtering, because it needs to be performed to all pixels of video frames. Increasing of pyramid levels above 3 didn't increase the computational time very much. Results showed that VGA resolution video 30 frames per second can be processed in real time by using our algorithm. Conclusion The Eulerian based algorithm seems to be suitable for real time mapping of human microcirculation. We first applied this algorithm for real-time mapping of skin microcirculation by means of near-infrared remote photoplethysmography. We tested RPPG system during the regional anesthesia procedure. Compared with previously developed RPPG algorithms, our developed algorithm is able to process infinitely long videos with VGA resolution 30 frames per second in real time using MATLAB software. In the future it can be sped up further by implementation in C++ environment instead of MATLAB. This work was supported by Latvian National Research Programs Office. Thank you for your attention.